in this video, Jonathan Dickinson State Park. Stay tuned, everybody. It was time to clean up the cobwebs after a few months of storage. Hello, everybody. We are back. It's 2022, March. Happy New Year, everybody. Say hi, baby girl. Hi, guys. We haven't been out for a while. I think like three months, no? Four months? Three to four months. It's the honest truth, guys. It's really hard in Florida to get something during the winter. And I finally found something in one of my favorite parks in Hope Sound, Florida. Jonathan Dickinson State Park. See you all over there. Hey guys, so we're almost there at Jonathan Dickinson State Park. We are on Federal Dixie Highway North. It's coming up in about half a mile. This is actually the park already to our left. It's a very big park. The entrance is coming right up in a half a mile. Here's the entrance to the park. We are uh, a little early. Let's see if we can get our site. It's ready. Check in is at three. It's one. One forty. have a parking to the right here all right guys we just checked in we are on site 135 and as you come in to the left there's a new campsite those are the new campsites. We are going to be in the old campsite because that's the only thing I was able to get. These are all full hookups. The ones we're going to is partial hookups, meaning no sewer. So this road is four and a half miles deep. We are here at Jonathan Dickinson State Park. We set up last night and uh, we're getting ready to go kayak. Let me show you around a campsite. Here's our campsite, 135. It's a good size. It goes very deep in. I'm gonna say 60 feet. We're getting, getting ready to go kayaking. There's baby girl, say hi baby. This is our backyard here. So much room. I did breakfast this morning. A power source. We have the 30 amp going on, but they also have 50 amp. They have the 50 amp, 30 amp, and 120 watt. And they have the water up in the front here. Here's my wash station for the dishes. There's the water. We loaded the kayak onto the roof of the Ultracon. I have baby girl drive out so I can capture the scene of the Ultracon with the kayak on top. There is a happy campsite. Hello, everybody. Come on, baby. Hello, everybody. We're here at Jonathan Dickinson State Park. We're at the river, the Hachahati River. Uh, we went from the boat ramp and now we're on the main park here section. I'm gonna say it's probably about just under a mile. It's a curvy river. We are going against the current, but it's fun. It's an easy day here. Just enjoying the day. Just 
finished kayaking. We kayaked for about an hour and a half. This is where we came in. This is our beach area, if you can say. And we came out of that way. We're about three quarter miles down the river. The boat ramps over there. So I brought the vehicle over. Here, there's the kayak and we're gonna load up over here. Here's the map of our kayaking from the boat ramp to the beach. Hello guys, this is our second day here at the park. It was a rainy morning, but it looks like the sky is gonna clear up. We're gonna go to the visitor center and uh, get more information on the park. And we're gonna try to get some Wi-Fi. They have Wi-Fi over there. Baby girls gotta get some work done. And then we'll see if we ride some bike later on. So that's our plan for the day. Catch you guys later. We made it to the bike park. We just did the Bobcat and Little Cat. It was a fun little trail. Uh, we're gonna keep exploring, see what other trails we can do. We made it back to the entrance. It started to rain, but we did three trails. How did you like it, baby? I liked it, it was fun. How many times have you done this? Never, only once this time. <laughs> <laughs> this is the first try at uh, mountain biking on actual little hills. A lot of fun. Uh, we went on the greens, they're pretty smooth. Nothing to it. And I don't know, we did like what, like three miles? We did about three miles. Yeah. This is the entrance to Jonathan Dickinson Park. That is Old Dixie Highway right there. There's a parking lot as you come in. Let's go ahead and uh, go into the park. To your left is the new park or uh, camping campground. Pine Grove Campground. Let's go check it out. This is the new section and it's a full hookup. All sites are full hookup. There's some trails here you can ride your bike. We're gonna go all the way to the end. That would be camp site number one. That's where it starts. These are 48 through 89. We're gonna go all the way to the end here. So, camp site one. Side two, these are all full hookups. They have small gravel, which is nice. Side three, side four. Side five. Let's go look at this one so you have an idea what it looks like. It's a very nice site. This is actually paved right here. You got some gravel there. But you have your power, your water, and your sewer. And the power and 50 30 amp and a 110 watt outlet. It's a nice site. It's a nice site. It's an interesting rig. Site seven. Site eight. Nine. Here's ten. 
12. You have the garbage recycle, 11. You have some parking here. Site 14. 15. Seventeen. Eighteen. Twenty. Nineteen. Twenty two. 21, 24, 23, 25, 26, 27, 28, 30, 29, 31, 33, 32, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, and we're back on the main road here. So let's go do the other loop. When we first got the camper trailer, the Geo Pro, this is actually the park we came to camp. We came right after the dealer. The dealer's in uh, Fort Pierce, Florida. It's about an hour north away from here. So this was the campground we went to. Good morning. I, I don't recall the site. I will have to look it up, but it was in this loop. I'm gonna say it was over there somewhere. I lost the footage of the second loop. That's okay. We'll be back to Jonathan Dickinson soon. The main road is called Park Drive. We're gonna head out towards the rest of the park and we're gonna go see the observation tower. That'll be next. I'm gonna head right back towards the entrance. So this is the entrance to the right. We're gonna go straight down Park Road. Now this road is about four miles to the other campsite which is River Campground and that's where we're staying at. That's also where the main park is and where the river is. So to the right is the Observation Tower. Hope Sound Mountain Observation Tower. It is Hope Sound Observation Tower. Let's go check it out. Hope Mountain Tower. It's a 10 minute walk. To be debatable. Let's go. Ready, 
have some height. main structure here. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and go up. to the top of the observation tower. See the whole park. See how massive this park is. There's a railroad track that crosses this park. This used to be an old military base. It became a park in 1952 I believe. Beautiful park. You can see Ultracron over there. So I debate that 10 minute walk. It's more like four minutes for if you jog a little bit. Let's go ahead and head back. We made it back to the Jeep. This park is just so beautiful. It's so peaceful and quiet here. Just enjoy this moment for a minute. I'm going to go to the river campground now which is about four miles into the park. So let's go. We're heading out to Park Drive again. And I forgot to mention, this house you see here to your right, that's the park ranger's home. Not too bad. So we're heading back out to Park Drive, we're gonna make a right. And like I said earlier, it's about four miles to the end of the park where the camp other campground is, river campground, and uh, La Sahachi River. I'm not gonna film, because it's, it's about, it's a few minutes, a good 15 minutes. As you go into the park on Park Drive, right before the railroad tracks, it's the mountain bike park. It's an award-winning park. That's where uh, Baby Girl and I did some uh, bike riding yesterday. Definitely need to come back and do some more. There were people here this morning at seven in the morning. So people take this park serious. It's a very nice park. And it, and it looks to me that the trails go all the way to the front of the park where we saw that other parking lot. I believe they all connect. This is the railroad tracks. Looks like they just recently repaved this. As you can see the signs, there's a lot of wildlife here. And I have seen deers. 
not this time around but I've seen years before just look how beautiful the pine trees are we're almost at the end here we probably have another mile to go we made it to the other side the end of the park we're gonna make our left and go to the river campground I'm gonna show you the cabins and the boat ramp let's go ahead and do that And this trail goes about two miles along the main road, park road. It's all paved. You can walk it or go on a bike. To the right, that's the information center. And to the left is the cabins. Let's go check out the cabins. I believe there's only nine cabins. But they're nice, they're cozy. It's one way. Just gives you an idea what it looks like. Morning. It's a nice one. Number five. Very private. This one here looks a little bigger. That's number six. I think that's the biggest one. So that's it for the cabins. I said I believe there's only nine. So now we're gonna make a left here and go to the campground where we're staying at. Stay to your left for the boat ramp. Uh, in the campground it's a loop the entrance right over here left is the boat ramp right is the campground I believe this is 92 these are partial hookup no sewer ninety four Ninety five, ninety six, ninety seven, ninety eight. Good morning, morning. nice dog. <laughs> hey, boy. Hello. One hundred. And these to the left, 101, that's a pull through. One oh three. We have one oh four to the right, one oh five to the left. That's a bathhouse to the right here. One oh seven, one oh eight, one oh nine to the to the left, one ten to the right. When we first camped in this campground, this is where we stayed. And we had a tent. That's when we got the idea to get a RV. That's how it all started. Morning. Good, good. 
113. Now we're gonna loop. One sixteen. Now as you loop to your left, there is a trail and that will take you to the beach, to the park. About a quarter mile of a trail. Good morning. Hey, morning. To the left is another Geo Pro. It is a H19, I mean 19BH. I spoke to the gentleman when they were pulling in. 121 to the left, 122. 123, 124. You have more tents. You're connected more to, na to nature on this side, on this campground. 129, 130. And there's some parking there for the bathhouse. That's a bathhouse to the right. This is the bathhouse. This is the man's bathhouse that I've been using. Looks like the urinal went out of service. It's one of those uh, waterless. We have every handicap, two sinks, air dryer. We have a second one here. They do get hot in here. There's no fan or anything. It's okay now, but they do get hot. We've been here before and it gets very hot in here. They have a unisex in the middle between the women and men. So this is the unisex. It's cozy. That's, and there we are. So it's a short walk. And we're gonna be coming up here. 133 to our left. Campsite 134 to the right. Now to the right, that's a very nice campsite. It's all paved. Might be handicapped. There's a Geo Pro 135. We're finishing up here. 138 to the right, 137 to the left. I believe this is where the gentleman is. 139. Cozy. 142. 141. Uh, let's go. That's the end of this campsite. It's the original campsite. Um, it's small but cute and cozy. Uh, let's go back out and we'll go out to the boat ramp. So we came out of here. That was the campsite. That's the entrance to the campsite. And we're gonna go to the left to the boat ramp. Here's the boat ramp. This is where we launched our kayak two days ago. You have a ramp and you have a dock. It's 
go ahead and park. This is the boat ramp, the parking lot. It's the ramp. This is the dock where we launched yesterday or two days ago with the kayak. Oh, it looks like it's low tide because the water was up to the first step there when we launched. And we went to the right. And I'm gonna say it's about half a mile of kayaking to the beach. Here's a map of the Lasahachi River of what we kayaked. I'm, I'm heading back to the main park, the main parking lot. We just left the boat ramp and I wanna show you, if you have a pet, that's the designated walking area for your pet, which is right in front of the campground. Let's head to the park. These have been our garbage bins. Now I'm gonna cut. This cuts right to the park. This is the information center. We went in there yesterday. They have history on the park and Florida. It's, it's nice. We got some t-shirts. It's nice. They, they have uh, they have rooms where you can have meetings. It's very nice. This is the main park right here. There's picnic tables, several huge pavilions. And this is the main road right here to my right. That's Park Road. And this is the main parking lot. That way is the beach. It's a little beach section. This is the main parking lot. The main parking lot's over there, but I came in here, so I had this little cozy parking lot. Because, you see that pavilion there? That is the starting line for many races I've done here. It looks like they're having some kind of meeting now, so I don't want to go in there and film. But I've done, uh, I've done uh, a 50K. I've done two 50Ks here, and Baby Girl and I have done the night run, it's in July. It starts at 7.30 p.m. and you run for 10 miles in the pure darkness. It's, it's lovely. It's a very unique, beautiful race. And as you run, everybody has a headlight on and you look back and you see the trail of lights just facing, fading into the wilderness. It's very unique. Let's go ahead and check it out. Pictures of our 2019 race. Behind me is the pavilion that I was mentioning where the races start. It looks like they're having a meeting for rangers right now. But this is what's unique about this park. Kitchen trail is right behind the pavilion. And let me introduce you to the kitchen trail. This is the entrance. This is the most beautiful trail with the pines. I'm gonna go ahead and go in a little deep so you get to see. I'm not sure everybody that visits the park sees this because it's kind of hidden in here. So let's go ahead. And if you look at the ground, you can see the sugar sand. Though it's hard here, it's compound here. 
Go ahead, go in a little deep. Now the, the trail loops. I always go to the left and you come out through here. There's a second bridge up ahead, but that one right now is under construction. King Kwan is, so you, you actually come back through here to this bridge. A little creek here. This is what I wanted to show you guys. It's about a two mile loop of just beautiful trees. It's nice and calm out here. We're back at the pavilion where they're having a meeting. I just want to point out to the right of that or our left right now are the restrooms. The blue roof right there, those are the restrooms for the pavilion. Now we're gonna head out that way towards the boat rentals. And there's a, a pier out there as well. Let's go. During the race, we all gather here, these benches. This thing's full of people in the race there's people everywhere they they have food at the end of the race they have hot dogs burgers and chicken and meat burritos and an, another live band as well we have a back cage to our right And here's the dock I was telling you. And it's the Hahatachi River. So those are the boat rentals. This is a dead end. Let's go around the other side. They have boat tours here. This is where you rent the, the kayaks, the boat rental office, and there's a little restaurant there. There's a playground and uh, restrooms with picnic tables. And back here is the beach. Just go over there now. This section here is the beach of the park. This is where we came out with Baby Girl when we kayaked. The boat ramped that way and we went out in the river and came out through here. If you continue where that Tiki Pavilion is, there's a trail that leads to the campground. It's about a quarter mile hike, quarter to half a mile hike. That's the information center and we have some more restrooms here. And that's the parking lot. Just so you have an idea, this is the main parking lot. There's a camp, there's the playground. Those are the boat rentals. That's the pavilion where they're having a meeting. And this is the little side parking lot. Main parking lot, little side hidden parking lot. It's my favorite. It's normally empty. It was empty yesterday. But due that they're having this meeting, it's pretty full, but we were able to park. I'm back at the campsite and it's time to pack it up. Our last day here. This is the fun part. We'll see you when we're done packing. This concludes another camping trip. We're leaving Jonathan Dickinson 
State Park. campsite is ready for the next camper thank you for taking the time to watch this video if you like this video hit the like button subscribe to the channel for future videos till next time everybody we are here at the dump station there's no dump station over at river campground we had to go to come over here to the front this is pines campground and this is where the dump station is so here we are dumping a wastewater. They have a nice setup here for the dump. We're here at Papi Chulo's having lunch before we go home. Uh, we were here the other day, the other night. The tacos are very good. They have good drinks. So we get another chance here. We highly recommend it.